welcome back to my channel. I'm Judith and this is Urban Wonderlust Candles and the day has finally arrived. We're doing a studio tour. I know I've been gone for a little while, but we've been so busy between pop-ups, street fairs and wholesale orders and getting things together that I haven't had time to film it. But I forced myself, you guys held me accountable to recording something and today's the day. So I'm not gonna hold you up. We're gonna jump right into the video. Everything that's in the studio, I'm gonna link it down below. And if I forget something, please let me know, call it out in the comments and ask me where it is. A lot of the things that I got from Amazon, you can find them in my Amazon storefront. I'll link that down below also. So before we get started with the video, give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, make sure you guys are following me because I've been looking at my analytics and a lot of you guys are watching the videos but you're not subscribed. So what's up? Subscribe, make sure you're following us so you're up to date with all the videos that we have coming your way. Okay, so I'm so excited to get started and show you guys the room. Let me show you a quick glance of everything. Here's my shelf of inventory, my supply closet, my melting station is over here. Then we have my curing section and then my packing station here. And this is my desk. So I'm going to make sure that I tag everything and link everything down below. Um, if I say it's from Amazon and you don't see it, it's check out my Amazon storefront. You'll definitely find it there. So if we start over here in my melting and mixing station, you'll see my wax melter. It holds about 50 pounds of wax. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, the company that sells it is completely sold out because of the pandemic, obviously, but I think you can also find it on Amazon. You just have to change the pouring spout. So I have it here laid up on top of um, these crates with my scale here, and it's the perfect height so I can just grab a pouring pitcher, put it here, turn that on, and it can weigh everything without me having to hold the pitcher until it fills, so that's really nice. Um, these pegboards are from Amazon. These are my stirring sticks that I got from Home Depot. They're just like painters um, stirring sticks. My heat gun, my thermal heater over here. Um, these tables are from Ikea. They are so good, I love them. They're sturdy. Um, they come in black, but the black ones have a wooden top. I really wanted the white ones to give this a nice clean aesthetic. Um, and I have four of these tables. This one is actually smaller because I couldn't fit three of the long tables against this wall, so I had to fit a smaller one. It has wheels, and I thought it would be pretty cool to pull it out whenever I was working on special projects, but I actually never do that, so that's fine. So then back over here in my melting and pouring section, I just have tissue paper, and I use this tissue paper to sometimes lay it up to lay it on top of the table. So when I'm pouring different fragrances, I can just write the names really quickly. Um, I have my paper cutter, a box of gloves down here. All of my measuring beakers are down here. These are all of my fragrance oils and these bins are from Ikea. I did an Ikea haul a couple of videos back, so I'll link that also if you haven't seen it, so check it out. Um, but yeah, these are fantastic. They're really big and I just kind of slide it out like that whenever I need to get fragrances. It comes with a lid, but I don't ever use the lid. So for now it's there. I'm probably gonna get one more so that they can all look cohesive and really nice. Then down here, I just have like, a wine crate full of little boxes. These are for my tea lights. Here I have another wine crate and you can just get these from like a wine store. I actually was really good friends with the, um, the owner of the wine store around my neighborhood and he gave me a bunch of these so I have a lot. Yeah, cause I like wine. Then these are all of my sample fragrances. Over here we have all of my bigger jugs of fragrance oils and back there you'll see a 25 pound pail full of fragrance oils and that's for like my bigger wholesale clients. Down here I have these little crates. Um, actually, I don't even know where I got this crate from. That was years ago. Um, and then I just have like empty room spray bottles here. Wicks that I don't use. This is a mess. That's there. Then in here, then on this table I have more of these little storage cubbies. I love them, they're great. They come in a whole bunch of different sizes and I just kind of slide them out. Here I'm holding my lip balm covers. These are the lip balm tubes here. Here I just have all of my wicks. I have my Eco 4s, CD20s, and then back there I have my Eco 10. 
I label everything. It's easy to, for me to find. Here onto this table, I have more of these little bins from Ikea, of course, and I use them to hold my clothespin, tea light cups, and label like warning labels. So everything I need is easily accessible right there. I have more of these giant bins from Ikea. I love them so much. Let me show you how big they are. Like, look, I'm just gonna drop it really quick. And in there I have my lids, which I just made a mess of, but these things are great. I love them so much. Um, I just thought it was nicer looking than keeping empty, I mean, than keeping boxes here. So I just thought that looks pretty. These are my molds for my wax melts and extra paper that I've already used for other wax candle projects that I just reuse again. And then on top over here is where I have all of my wick holders, shelf is from Ikea, and so are these little undermount things are also from Ikea. They were in the kitchen uh, section. I absolutely love them. Uh, you can just kind of pull out exactly what you need, take it with you and work along the table however you want. Um, and I use them to store my small wick holders, my large wick holders for different size candles. Then I have my smaller uh, clothes pins here and then my different types of wicks. And I have a smaller little container too that I use to save my wicks. And also, tip, because of the wick crisis that's going on, I save all of my wick trimmings. So when I'm making candles and I'm trimming my wicks, I save them so that I can then take these and make a new wick. And boom, you just doubled um, your inventory with the same amount of uh, supplies. It's a nice little tip to save some money. I was too lazy to do that before, but. So then on this pegboard, I just have this little rolly thing with my, um, wick stickers, my tab stickers, some jute bow, warning labels, some washi tape, and some ribbon for some of my gift boxes. I have these little storage cubbies here for my, um, my wick tab, this little tray here that holds my wick centering tool. And I don't know, I, I bought this from Amazon because I saw another maker using this to stir her um, fragrance oils and wax. And it's nice and it's pretty cool because it's made out of glass so it cleans really easily but it just makes a lot of noise when you're trying to stir this in those metal pots but it's nice it's cute makes you feel fancy um i have my scissors here and then i also have my pliers that i used to trim my wicks which i find easier to trim wicks than scissors up here i have my camera that i'm not even using a vlog because it's so much easier for me to use my phone um I got my little letter board here. It's actually really cute. It's my first press announcement and I thought it would, was a really cute idea to just print it out and cut it up and put it in a nice little frame. Um, well and Good did a feature on some of the top 35 Latin owned brands um, during Hispanic Heritage Month and, month and I happen to be one of them. So I thought it was cute. My little mention, I put that up there to kind of remember my moment. Um, and then up here, oh, this thing is a lifesaver when doing my wax belts. Um, I will link it down below, but it definitely helps. I got the idea from Erica from Memory Box Candle Co. So good looking Erica for linking this. Um, and then this is my, what is that? My overhead tripod that gives me really cool angles from when I'm filming and I'm trying to show you um, overhead shots. So that's cool, that's from Amazon. I have my anchor for music when I'm here in the studio. And then these are all of my retail gift boxes that I have for my candles. All of them from Uline. They're fantastic. They ship out so fast. Um, I'm on the East Coast in New York and I think they're based out in Pennsylvania, but I can place an order on Thursday night and literally get it Friday afternoon. So they're really cool. Um, so I have all my retail boxes here. My bubble mailers. Of course, another pegboard because your girl loves her pegboards. Um, I use these to clip all of my orders so I can see what all of my pending orders are. Here I have stickers already pre-printed for my um, retail boxes. These are the stickers that I use for my um, candles when I wrap them up. I have my thank you cards and other little cards that I might put in in an order. Pens, hole punchers, 
this is actually something new that I started doing. I decided to color in all of the states that we've shipped to. So it's looking kind of bare in the middle here. So if you're from one of these states and you're interested in one of my candles, make a purchase and check us out. You might like it. This is my Primera LX500. I use these to make all of my labels for my candles and my room sprays and lip balms. It's definitely expensive and a really big investment, but if you're working at really high volumes and producing a lot of candles, um, a lot of inventory, then I highly recommend it. It kind of pays for itself uh, when you see how the efficiency and how fast you're printing with it. So I absolutely love it. Down here, I have my Rolo machine and I use that to print my packing slips and my shipping labels. I love it way better than a Dymo because I feel like it prints faster and it's able to print smaller font more legibly. So I love it. Then I have another little storage bin here with rolls of sticker labels for my printer here. I have more tissue paper down over here. Here I have my packing peanuts. I got this bin from Ikea. It comes in a bunch of different sizes. Um, and this is the large one. I absolutely love it. I put all my packing peanuts here. And guys, save your packing peanuts. Whenever you order from Candle Science, anywhere, just save them. Your girl has never purchased any packing materials and I don't need to because I have like three boxes of this upstairs and I'll show you. This is my brand new printer. Um, I don't really use this to print out any of my labels because I have these guys up here, but it's helped me out in a crunch when I had to do an order of like 400 lip balms and I ran out of my labels and they were on back order for a couple of weeks. So I was able to print out there. It is so freaking good and the quality is amazing. It's an HP Color Laser Jet Pro. If you want a really good printer that does it all, that's fantastic. So here I have more gift boxes because I have about like five different box sizes for different gift, gift sets that I offer. And here I have all my stamps. Um, I'll try to remember where I got all of these from. This stamp is just my logo stamp, it's from Zazzle. This one is my this side up fragile sticker that I like to put on my wholesale orders. And then this is the one I put this also on my wholesale orders and it just has my logo, my company name and my website. Um, I got these two from a company on Etsy called Remarkable Stamps, I think. I'll link it down below so it'll be there. And then obviously it comes with the pads, a lot of them. So those are good. Then over here, this is my desk where you'll find me editing videos, processing orders and things like that. I have my laptop for Urban Wanderlust and then I have my computer here for my day job because I still do work a day job. Um, and then I have my laptop connected to my label printer and to my Rolo. And I usually just sit right here and process all the orders like that. Um, this table is from Amazon and I have a video of me putting it together when I first got it. I'll try to link it above and it's really cool because it's actually a gaming table and it has this little drink holder that I like. And over here, this is my, one of my supply closets. <laughs> so it's like my supply packing closet. I have a shredder that I need to plug in and put together. I have more of these storage bins from Ikea that are so great. Um, I have crinkle paper in there that I need to order more of. My gold candle tins, I put them in here. My lids for my birthday cake candles and then more tea lights down here. And these are great because they're actually uh, dry erase so you can write on top of it and then take it off if you need to. Um, these are my backdrops that I use um, when I'm taking product photos. I have a whole bunch of them. them for, they're from a company called Replica Surfaces. Amazing, highly recommend. I have my wrap packing paper. I kind of use this to stuff um, some of the boxes or wrap gifts, whatever, or wrap candles, whatever I need it for. I have more boxes of wicks here. I have my tripod for my camera. And that's it there. This is my shelf from Ikea that holds all of my inventory. And this sign, I absolutely love it. I just got it. It's from a company on Etsy called Skyline Laser. I don't know if they have their own website, but I'll link their Etsy shop. Um, so beautiful, I love it. I take it with me to pop-ups and things like that. So on my shelf here, I have these little storage cuppies that I use to put all of my tea lights in. 
my lip balms are in here and then my perfume oils and anything small like that. This is from Amazon. It comes in smaller sets like that. So I just bought four and kind of stacked them up together. These are my wax melts that I offer online. I decided to do something a little different and put them in these pouches because I thought it was kind of cute and different. So that's there. Um, oh, my little fake plant and my little peace sign. I think that's from Home Goods. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. Okay, so my girlfriend made one of my really good friends, Liz. If you're watching Liz, thank you. Shout out to you. This is actually one of my 16 ounce candles. And for my birthday, she took one and bedazzled it for me. I thought that was so cool. So it says UW for Urban Wanderlust, obviously. And on the other side, it says Judy. And on the bottom, it says JK for my initials. It's so cute. I love it. How cute is that? I have a bunch of crystals in there right now, so that's what you hear clanging, but I love it. It's so cute. These are my original collection candles. These are my 11 ounce jars. The room sprays and destination candles that are down here. I keep my Cricut on the bottom shelf and some tote bags and muslin bags that I offer in my shop. My shipping boxes, I kind of just leave them there. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, you should be, you would know this was a failed attempt and this is on the floor now. If you don't know what that is, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I think I have a story highlight about this whole failure. <laughs> Basically, I try putting those pegs up on the wall so that my boxes can be nicely displayed up there and look kind of cute. That wasn't working. That was a fail. It like fell like five different times. I actually only got one peg to stay on the wall and we just ended up putting shopping bags. So then this is actually just a filing cabinet full of boring stuff like papers and stuff like that and more crap down there. And in case you're wondering, where do I keep all of my back stock? It's in here. This is my walk-in closet of inventory here. So I keep empty boxes so that I can reuse it for wholesale orders, shipping boxes. All of my candle jars are back here. So this is where I put everything that I'm not currently using um, inside of my candle studio. And also, if we go upstairs to the loft, dun, dun, dun. this is where I keep more stuff. <laughs> So in here I have my shopping bags that I use from when I'm doing pop-ups. Um, I get this obviously from Uline. And in these boxes is where I save all of my um, packing peanuts. So whenever I order inventory, I keep all of my packing peanuts. And you can see that I have one, two, and three full of packing peanuts. And then in here, I just have all of my supplies that I use for um, pop-up shops, like all of my decor and stuff like that. And that's it. You've officially seen everything. Well, that's it, guys. That concludes our studio tour. I hope it was worth the wait. Did I forget to link anything or mention where I got it from? Let me know down in the comments. But give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe so that you know when we post new videos. And I'll catch you next week. Bye. Why do I keep looking here? Look here. Stop laughing at me, Peter. <laughs> oh, my God. Leave me alone, Peter. <laughs> I'm trying to record. <laughs> okay.